two fingers. How's Philip doing? He's better. He's asked to stay on at Willow Hills to work through a few things. I'm glad to hear that. Because none of this is worth a damn if Blake and Philip aren't together to share it. I'll check in with you later. Well, apparently, uh, Roger thinks that these pastures here still have some grazing potential. Would seem so. Mm -hmm. The man does have style. Even Alan couldn't get all ruggy. Well, Roger hasn't either yet. Excuse me a minute. I'm going to check on something. <sighs> Darling. Do you think this deal's for real? I don't know, Daddy. But I intend to find out. I, I know this is none of my business, but... Did Dylan have anything to do with you and Alan Michael breaking up? I'd like to know the answer to that myself. Dylan is part of the reason that me and Al Michael broke up. So I thought. Well, at least uh, Dylan's making up for his mistakes now. As is Alan Michael. He's volunteering right alongside your son. Did you hear? <laughs> oh, what'd you do? Threaten to take away his credit cards? My nephew's a responsible young man who's seen the error of his ways. And he's doing this of his own free will, not under court order like Dylan. Hmm. Right. Well, uh, maybe there's hope for Alan Michael after all. Listen, um, I'll talk to you again, okay? okay. And don't be scared of her. She's really a pussy cat. <laughs> So now you know. Anything else? Is there any hope of a reconciliation between you and Alan Michael? You're really asking the wrong person. He kicked me out. Why? His pride, I guess. His pride? He was always jealous of Dylan. Any reason why he should be? We were only together for Daisy's sake. Together. Yes, and things just went a bit too far. You slept with Dylan, didn't you? And now Alan Michael has to work beside him at the firehouse. Charming. Anything else? Why would you do that, Harley? Alan Michael put his whole future on the line for you when he kidnapped Susan LeMay. And you thank him by sleeping with Dylan? Didn't you learn anything the first time? It's not what happened. But what do you care anyway? You didn't want us to get married in the first place. You said it would never work. So you were right. But I changed my mind about you. You know that. I came to like you. I thought you gave Alan Michael the kind of anchor he needed. Sorry to see I was wrong. If you're worried about me taking him to the cleaners, don't, okay? Because I'm not planning on taking a dime from him in the divorce, okay? That's about all you get. I don't know what you mean. His trust fund won't be available to him until he straightened out his life. You froze his trust fund? He's not ready for it. And it would be criminal to let him loose on the world feeling the way he does now. Does Vanessa have access to my list of incoming calls? Uh, yes, she does. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, thank you. And thank you, Vanessa, for making that one so very easy. Alex! Oh, Eddie, this is the box set. Aha. Uh -huh. Can you tell you I'm impressed with your work? Well, good. You should be. I'm also a bit surprised. At what? You. I saw the look on your face when I named Vanessa acting president. I thought you might resign. The thought did occur to me, but then I realized that uh, you were just uh, protecting the Chamberlains. 
After all, they are your major stockholders. That's only part of the reason I appointed Vanessa. Oh? I knew you would excel in this capacity. And you were right. Assuming you can deliver the goods you promised. I can always deliver. You can count on that. I'll expect to hear all the details tonight. You can join Senator Bradford and me at the country club around seven. Whoops, sorry, can't do that. Beg your pardon? Now, I just flew halfway around the world and back to make this deal. I am exhausted. How about dinner tomorrow night? Fine. Somehow I thought you'd have more stamina. <laughs> <laughs> H.P. Lewis calling you here. Relax. It's personal. It better be. Enjoy your rest tonight. Why, thank you, ma'am. I'll see you tomorrow. Mr. Lewis, I'm sorry to keep you waiting. You think you can make it? Wonderful. I'll see you then. Looks like we have a full house. 